We get it. You're the vault administrator, and you want to have data cards which allow your users to enter the data they need to enter, but you also want to ensure they enter the data in a specific manner so nothing gets missed. So a few static text boxes should do the trick, right? Well, before too long, you could end up with something like this. Simplify your data card design and have your users follow the right path with SOLIDWORKS PDM 2023. New for SOLIDWORKS PDM 2023 is the tooltips feature, which allows you, the administrator, to both have a clean looking data card and the ability to give prompts to your users who may need a bit of a reminder for certain fields. The goal here today would be to take this model data card and edit it so we can provide that additional context. Let's take a look at the data card editor and see how we can take advantage of this new feature. We'll open up our model data card to make some changes to a few of our controls. Notice that when I select our number control, the properties show up on the right as normal. However, now we have a new tooltip section that we can configure to better guide our users on how to enter the data they need. For our number variable, let's give it an appropriate title. And then a detailed description on how and when the part number should be entered. Next, let's move on to the revision field. Ideally, we should have our workflow stamp the revisions so no instructions are needed for this tooltip. But it would be a good idea to inform our users what our various revision schemes indicate, specifically what stage of the process the file is in. Finally, we'll set one more tooltip for description where we just let our users know they should keep it brief, but also to make it their priority to fill it in sooner than later. There are certainly a few more opportunities for us to clarify data card usage with the new tooltips feature. But for now, let's just take a look at our data card in the vault and see how the tooltips work from the user end. As you would expect to see, I'm able to hover my mouse over the three fields we just edited and see the information we just defined for those fields. Keep in mind that you can have tooltips for most any type of control in your data card, the exceptions being tab and frame controls. With this in place, I can feel confident that my user should have the appropriate guidance to edit or interpret any data card information. We hope you found this video informative and we invite you to keep an eye out for further SOLIDWORKS PDM videos from Hawkridge Systems. Thanks and see you next time.